Welcome to my channel, it's Nicole, and in this video, I am setting up my Erin Condren Focus Teacher Lesson Planner. So before we get started, a couple of things. I am still working on my lighting because I really want this to be a great experience for you. So I, in advance, appreciate your patience as I continue to navigate these waters of YouTube. <laughs> like this is my fourth YouTube video and so I'm still trying to figure things out. So thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for your support. Like I really appreciate it. And the other thing that I wanted to mention to you is that on screen, you will see that the washi sticker sheet has some already used washi on it. And that is because when I initially sat down, I sat down to only work on my Erin Condren A5 notebook. But then when I was in that space, I decided to go ahead and take care of my weekly planner, which is what you're watching now, and also my passion planner daily, which is my work planner. And so that's why there's some washi missing from that washi sheet, just in case you were curious. But I have so far whited out the left side, which is the month of the year, <laughs> which is August, right? And the days of the week. And so I've put down some washi at the top and the bottom. And so this is the Planner Kate school time kit or stickers, I should say, from that kit. And that is kit MK443, if I'm not mistaken. And I decided to go with this kit because I have school age nieces and nephews who started school this week. And I also have educators in my family. And I believe, no, and I know some of them started school this week. So I just wanted to in my spread, recognize them um, because I love my family and my friends. And so I was like, let me do a school themed spread for this week. So that is why I selected these particular stickers. And so also I will say that this is the first time of me using Planner Kate stickers. I've known about the company, but it's not until maybe a few weeks ago that I started purchasing her stickers. And this is the first time I'm using a kit and it's been a great experience. And so you are seeing me at the moment put down some stickers and these particular stickers are from Michael's. It is part of their recollections collection. And I, I pull from this sticker book often like even though this sticker book is in a binder in sheets but I pull from those sheets that particular sticker book often um, because it has not only the days of the week it has numbers it has months it has other icons scripts it comes in black gold and silver so it's very versatile and I'm able to use it in a bunch of different ways. <laughs> so I pulled out some labels and then I decided to head in another direction. I decided to start working on my sidebar. And so for me, my sidebar is on the left-hand side. Now, if I had used this planner as it was originally intended and did not white out anything, the sidebar would have been on the far right. But for me, I like my sidebar on the far left. And so this is where I track certain activities or certain things that I do during the week. And the three things that I track are my devotion and prayer, my exercise, I love to walk, <laughs> and my vitamins. So I track that information on the left-hand side and I've pulled out my ruler, done my lines, I've skipped that, I have spared you. <laughs> All of that line drawing, I have spared you of that. And so now I'm just adding some details here. And sometimes I peek back to last week to make sure I am not forgetting anything at all. And so these icon stickers that I've used are from this kit as well. So I feel like having these three sheets like really work for me. And because I had not used Planner Kate stickers before, I really wasn't sure what I needed because I'd watch other content creators and they would have like the full kit. And I'm like, do I need the full kit? <laughs> or do I just need like two or three sheets? So these are the three sheets that I've landed on or I've settled on and I'm happy with my decision. It is working 
it's working well, at least in this spread. We'll see how future spreads go. I may need more stickers, but for right now, I think I'm good with the three sheets. And so I am using some thin washi at the moment to separate the page, divide the page. And so what happens is the top portion of the page I use for my devotion and prayer and for my exercise. So as it relates to devotion and prayer, I read a scripture, I read a chapter every morning and whatever that scripture verse, whatever that verse of the day is, I like to document that in my planner. And so that's what I do um, on that top row. And then on that second row, I use that to actually track my exercise. So like I mentioned, love to walk, I'm getting into running and I will track my distance and my time. And so that information does not change like or I should say that section of my planner is like standard and then everything below that is up for grabs everything below that I can do whatever I want to do <laughs> and so I have already put down my weekend sticker and if you were here on my last plan with me in this particular planner you already know or you may sense that I'm going to move that sticker and I want you to know that you are correct that weekend sticker will not stay where it is and that's okay. And that's the great thing about these stickers. They're easy to come up. They're easy to lift and shift, as I like to say. So that will be moving. But what I've decided to do right now on screen is use some of these half boxes at the top. And that's where I will put my verse of the day. And so I'm just putting them down. I did need to do a little bit of whiting out. But otherwise than that, these stickers winded up working out really well for what I was trying to accomplish. So just whiting out just a little bit of the line so it looks the way I want it to look. And then we are going to move on to the bottom portion of the page. I decided to use a label and the trash day sticker and icon to indicate the day of the week that trash is picked up in my area. And now I am decorating the bottom half, or not the bottom half, but the bottom portion of the planner with some full boxes. I did cut one of the full boxes, not quite in half, but I cut it along the line. And because it's a line sticker, and I do not cut straight well. So that line was very helpful. And I think I think I cut it pretty well, um, comparatively speaking to other things that other stickers I've cut before freehand. So I am just placing down my full box stickers. I'm telling you now, they're going to move. <laughs> they're going to move. And because I have my spatula from when I used to own a Cricut, that has been very helpful with lifting stickers up and moving them to where they finally will be, moving them to their final home. <laughs> that spatula is very helpful for that. And I will be needing it as you've already seen me use it throughout this plan with me so far. So I'm just trying to put these down in a place that 
works for me and that still allows me the space to write down the things that I want to write down. So I know that I mentioned my A5 notebook earlier in this video. And what I do with that is that's my master checklist. I write everything down. It's not an exhaustive checklist, but I really do try to capture all of the things that I want to accomplish for a week or all the things that I have on my calendar, you know, appointments and things of that nature. And so at the end of the week, what I generally do is I'll sit down with my A5 notebook and I'll sit down with my planner and I'll pull from that notebook. So I'll take out the highlights. So if I had an appointment or if something like really great happened, or if it's somebody's birthday, or if just something, anything, if I accomplished a particular goal, I mean, just anything that I want to highlight. It could be, I went out to eat with friends. It could be anything. And that information I'll pull from my A5 and I'll put it in this notebook. So this is like the final say for the week, so to speak, like this captures those highlights or just things that were important to me versus capturing every single thing that happened during the week. And the other thing that I like about the A5 notebook is that if something doesn't happen, I can cross it off. I can white it out. Like I'm not bothered by it looking messy. Whereas this particular planner I want this to look as nice as possible. <laughs> so that's why I like being able to work in both of them. And then also with the A5, I can carry it with me. I can drop it in my purse and I can go and it's fine. I mean, I guess I can do that with this one too, but I'll just have to leave the house with a larger purse. <laughs> so I have, in all of my talking, I have pulled out some more stickers and these stickers that I pulled out are from the happy planner. And so just some scripts for these particular areas that I had talked about before, devotion and prayer, um, my readings, uh, exercise, and then my vitamins. And then across the top, well, not the top, but like on the row where you see the sneaker for exercise, I've also put a walking sticker for Monday through Friday. So I keep going back and forth because I'm undecided as to whether or not this is actually done. But I start cleaning up a little bit because I, I think I'm done. And if you've been here before and you've seen my videos, when I start cleaning my desk, that is an indication that this video is a wrap, like this is done. And I really thought that I was done, but I was not because that weekend sticker is still where it is. <laughs> and as I mentioned to you in the beginning, it's going to move. So clearly I am not done. And here I am with my spatula moving stickers. And so after I move all of these stickers, <laughs> then I will be done.
So I thought I was done, but I do have one birthday this week and it is my nephew and his birthday is on Friday. And so I had to make sure I pulled out a label and a gift box to represent his birthday. And now, and now we're done. <laughs> we are done now. But before this video ends, I'm gonna show you some bonus footage from when I was setting up my A5 notebook. And I am going to let you check out this portion of the video with a music track below it. I think I've pretty much explained how I use this. I'm just putting down some lines to divide this page up, both sides, put down some washi. I'll come in with the days of the week and my dot marker and that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, on screen you will see another video or two that you might enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press that notification bell so that you are notified of when I have new content on YouTube. Again, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.